Hi, my name is Nick Stasoulis, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the main office of the New England Water Science Center. In this video, we will briefly review how you register an ADCP in the TRDI Section by Section Pro software, enabling it for use. It's important to first point out that while data already collected with Section by Section Pro can be processed on any computer with Section by Section Pro installed without an additional cost, there is an additional cost if you would like to collect data with an instrument. To collect data, you must purchase a license for each specific ADCP you'd like to collect data with. This can be done through the manufacturer or the HIF. Once you've purchased the license, you first enable the unit by running the executable file you received. This sets the unit's firmware to allow data collection. This is a simple process. First, connect to the ADCP, whether it be through a Bluetooth connection or a direct connection. Once you open the executable, simply specify the COM port you use to connect to the ADCP and click Activate. To determine if an ADCP is already activated, you can connect through bbtalk and send an ol command, which will list the enabled features of the ADCP. Next, you need to enter the serial number specific software key into each computer you plan to collect data using that ADCP. This is done in Section by Section Pro by selecting Help and Register ADCP. You can see I already have several ADCPs activated on my computer. To activate another, simply enter the ADCP serial number, encode your received, and click Add. If you attempt to set up a measurement in the wizard with an ADCP that hasn't been enabled, you will receive a warning indicating the unit hasn't been activated. Additional information on the process of enabling an ADCP for data collection can be found in the TRDI Section by Section Pro software user guide. 